What's happening, family? Okay, I have to admit, I just talked to a, a good friend of mine the other day. Um, not going to mention uh, the person's name because it's our business. What? But I'll tell you what we did talk about. So one thing I want you guys to know is understand that, first of all, wait a minute, hold up. Like, subscribe, follow, Comptomania is coming soon. You know the routine. So um, you are enough. You are enough. You are great enough. You are adequate. You can do it. Why not you? Believe in yourself. It's the hardest thing to do. But now is the time. Even with all this craziness going, going on or whatever, understand that you were created for this specific reason. I had to lick my lips, you know, lick, ask you. Mm. Uh -huh. you, have, you have to understand that you were created for this specific time. You can handle it. And like, like if you don't even have any friends that you can com confide in or talk to when you're going through it, then we need to, we need to reassess our friends. You know what I'm saying? Mental health. Got to take care of our mental health. You are good enough. You are great. You are amazing. Don't let anybody take that away from you. Let go of the past. Listen, we all got we all didn't then fucked up somewhere, but you still here. It's, it's never over until it's over. Give you an example. Um, probably like not a good example that worked out for me, but it's an example anyway. So I think it was 2008. It was game five uh, in the finals. The Lakers were up by 23 and we lose to Boston. Um, the interviewers asked Kobe and say, hey, what happened? He said, we wet the bed. You know, we we were soft. They just they just outplayed us. They beat us. They smacked us up. And I hate to do this because this Lakers all day bumped the Celtics. However, think about it like that. You down by 23 points on the road. It ain't never over. It ain't over until you admit that it's over. Defeat is all in the mind. Victory and defeat is all in the mind. So you have to determine what what is it going to be and commit to that. Too many times it's so easy for us to commit to a person. We want to commit to a relationship, an idea. But a lot of times we don't want to commit to the process. You cannot cheat the process. You got to commit to it. Bust it. If you commit to it, you prepare for it, can't nobody fuck with you. Period. That's it. So today's message is simple. You are enough. You are adequate. You can do it. You can be the coldest to ever do it. Just work your craft and craft your work or work your plan and plan your work. Fuck them up, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck them up. Apply pressure. Do not stop. Step on a neck. Put yourself in situations where you're not comfortable with and watch you thrive. Invest into yourself. Dig deeper inside yourself. Commit to yourself. You deserve it. Don't commit to nobody else right now. Commit to yourself. Each individual have their own mission and goal that they are put here to, to do and to accomplish. Set your shit. All right. I think I done talked enough. I think I done cussed enough. I think I done dropped enough F-bombs. So, love you guys. I'm out of here. Showvation. It's showtime. Now, welcome to the show. Compton Mania.